everybody. So I'm back. It's been a long time. Um, I've really missed you guys. I've missed making videos and talking to you and sharing. Um, I do want to do a catch up video. Uh, today I thought in light of um, getting so much fabric lately um, since my move, I thought I would do um, just a big haul and then I can finally put this stuff all away and organized in my new studio. So without further ado, we have a lot of fabric to share and I'm not going to tell what I'm going to do with everything. I mean, some of the things I might have definitive ideas for, but what I'm really just going to do is just share it with you. Um, hopefully you see some pretty things and maybe you get inspired or anyway, it's just fun to share, right? So I've got a lot. So let's go quick. We'll do, I have three sections. I've separated it into kind of brighter colors, things that are kind of out of my typical comfort zone, but that I've really fallen in love with. And that's really unusual for me. And then also there's a neutral bunch and then there's some kind of summery um, reds and blues, and then there's some upholstery. Um, so here we go. The first fabric um, is this, which I just thought was so great. To me, if you look at it really close, it looks like it's been beaded. Um, and I just thought it was amazing. So unusual with the tigers. Sorry, you can't hear me. <laughs> so unusual with the tigers. Um, this is a free spirit fabric. Um, it's called Eden by Tula Pink. Um, some of these I have gotten in kind of warehousey places. Um, some of them have just been regular retail at Joann's or Fa Hobby Lobby. Um, so this was from a warehouse place, so I don't have all the information. I don't remember the prices. This has been like a collective haul for about maybe about two months now. So and I've gone to a lot of different places. So if you have any specific questions, I'll try to help you. Um, but I do pass by a lot of places. Some of them don't have like names, um, that I know of that I, I just kind of go into them. I happen along the way and just go into the places. So I'm not exactly sure of all the names. But this one was pretty too. This is an Amy Butler. And I thought that was really nice. And now this one has the price on it. So this was three yards for $2.99 or three yards at $2.99 each. So that was a good deal. It's really nice cotton. Um, this one was also at $2.99 a yard, I got two and a half of that. And the camera, see this is the true color. It's a very mustardy, kind of a citrusy or citrion color. Yeah, that's really nice. This one also is that same kind of color, almost limey, but in person it's more mustard. And that, I think I got four yards of that. That just I thought would be beautiful as a very full skirt. That looks, like it's a Wyndham Fabrics. That's a Lata Janstadter. I think that's how you say your name. Can you see that? You can't see that? There you go. Yeah. And the next one, this is so crazy for me, but I loved it. I really just fell in love with it. This is from the Garden of Earthly Delights Collection, Studio KM by Free Spirit, if you can see that. Yeah. Then this one, so you can see I was really on a tangent. I bought most of these together or within probably a week's time at different places. And then this one, oh my gosh, I love this. Look at that, if you can see. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. That's gorgeous. And that one I got the same time I got this. This is also a Free Spirit um, Orient by NEL. If you can see that. Yeah. These two I thought would be amazing together. Oh my gosh, I love that. Kind of reminds me of hand-painted porcelain. And then 
these two, this definitely had a southwesty look to it. This is also a free spirit. Um, it's called Flock Together by Kathy Doherty. <coughs> Excuse me. I am getting over a pretty bad cold, so I'm really sorry if I, my voice is kind of crackly. But this is a border print. And it's like that, and it's border on both ends. So I thought that would make an amazing dress and then this would be like a coat because this is kind of heavyweight. So I, I like how it kind of clashes, but it kind of goes together. So I'm excited to get all that done that I already have a plan for. And then in these mill places, a lot of times they're just like odd lots that are just cut up like in the yard or two yard sections. So I bought, I think a total of like three and a half yards of this one in different bundles. And then this one, this I know I've got at Hobby Lobby pretty recently. And it looks like that. And I'm thinking I'm gonna make a jumpsuit out of this. For this summer kind of has that canvasy look to it i love so now we're moving into the neutral section that was the first one obviously and then this one this one i loved so much that i actually went back and got more of it um it says cloth workers rowan westminster fibers and it's a print from the victorian albert museum so I just fell in love with this. I thought it was so pretty. And I've already started the dress. It's gonna be a long, like a peasant style dress. And I'm working on the yoke now. Um, I had this binding that had a floral print in it. Yeah, so we're working on that. That should be really cool for the summer with big, big full sleeves. So there's that, and then this is from some little middle of nowhere place that sold just little remnants of fabric. I don't even know what the place was called. But I got this, because I thought it was so bohemian. Beautiful, like very old world. Then I also got this at that place. And I'm thinking I'm gonna make pillows for my the daybed couch I have here in my studio out of this. I thought it'll look nice with the walls. Yeah. Um, this one, don't remember where I got this, but I got, I think, five yards of it. It's also Wyndham Fabrics. Uh, it's called Haberdashery by Brian Haggard. You can see, can you see that one? Yeah, so that's got all of the scissors, and I love anything with like writing on it, handwriting, old letters, anything like that. I totally love. So that's gonna be something nice. And then this one I loved. This was um, called The Settlement Collection by Jean Horton. Um, it's also a Wyndham Fabrics, I don't know. Can you see this one? It looks like it's already tea dyed in some places. And I thought that was really, really nice. That will probably be a dress too. And then this one, I got another one of the mills here. Looks like I got three yards. I don't know how much the price was because it's blank. <laughs> um, but this has a little bit of metallic I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's a bit of metallic in the feather print. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. And then I got this one at that same place. This seems kind of stiff now, but I think it's because of the metallic print over top of the fabric. Um, but I thought that kind of pale, pale, pale blue on top of the brown was just so amazing. Mm, love that. 
Okay, and I did get a couple of upholstery fabrics alone. I'll show you this one because this one's kind of a neutral too. This one I got at that same sale and I'm pretty sure, I think this was $1.99 a yard and I got 15 and a quarter yards, <laughs> you can see. So I got quite a stack of this. So that's going to be something or some things really nice. But it's the same as that tealy blue on the brown. It's got that same kind of pattern, but just with like a kind of pewter on that kind of green. Oh, love it. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun to fold after. <laughs> um, my pile is falling. I got this and I knew the first second that I saw this, it was just a remnant on the table, that I was going to make a coat out of this. It's just, I don't even know if you can see how beautiful this is. It's the amazing velvet. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can even hear me. I'm getting so involved in holding the fabrics and I'm talking like this. <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear me. Oh well. We're just gonna keep going. <laughs> Anybody who's watching this knows fabric, loves fabric. You're probably not even listening to me. You're just looking at the fabric. <laughs> then I got this, I got a big chunk. I don't even know how much I got of this. This doesn't even have a name on it. Um, but it's a very heavy weight, very velvety, very beautiful um, upholstery weight fabric. I really saw this being bags. Um, some really beautiful purses with some really um, thick, chunky, like brass hardware. And I just could not, I mean, it looks like it's been hand painted or something because of the variations in the coloring. Oh my gosh. I knew I got this home and I just kept looking at it. It was so pretty. Okay, we're getting there. So this one I got at another mill. Um, and I just thought this had a very kind of, um, I don't know, early American settlers kind of look to it. And I just thought it was so pretty. And the, all the embroidery on this is kind of like raised, so it has a really nice texture to it. And that's going to be something really nice. I think I got five yards of that. And then at that little hole in the wall place that was, I don't even know the name of, that I happened upon, um, they had these, I've been wanting big panels of American flags for so long and just never found it. And it's one of those things, you know, when you have something in the back of your head for so long and then it's like not necessarily a priority, but it's something you have an idea for. And then I just found them. So I got two really big panels that I'm not even going to say what I'm going to do with it, but you're going to see hopefully soon. Hopefully I'll get to that. Uh, and there's the other one. And he actually gave those to me for free. So that was awesome. <laughs> um, and now we're into like the blues. I only have a few blues. I only started looking at blue in a different way years ago. I think blue, I didn't wear black at all. And blue was really uh, a prominent thing in my wardrobe. And, oh, I'm wearing blue. That's kind of funny. <laughs> um, but the other day I was in Joann's and I just fell in love with this bunch of blue fabrics that they had for the summer. And this is one of them. Now, ordinarily, like I said with the brights, I don't gravitate towards brights. I don't know if it has to do with my age now. I'm getting older. Maybe I'm starting to think more about colors. I don't know. But I just thought this was a beautiful, like, um, I think this is like a chalet. So pretty. And I got a few yards of that to do a dress. And then I got, <clears throat> excuse me, I got this one that's like a dress weight, blouse weight. This is a Joanne Fabrics fabric. Um, I guess they manufactured it. It does have a little bit of stretch in it, 
um, but not so much that it would be considered necessarily a stretch. Um, but I just thought this was so pretty for the summer. Oh my gosh. I always like to get fabrics that don't necessarily look like something that I've seen, but remind me that if I made something out of that fabric, would that item be something I would go to in a store and just be like, oh, I love that. That's how I try to choose my fabrics. And this one is a very heavy weight. Also has a little bit of stretch in it. I guess it's like a stretch denim. This one is also a Joann's. I guess Joann's did this blue collection. Um, but this definitely, I think, would make some great um, bags. It probably would make great jeans or something, but I'm not gonna be getting all fussed up with that. Um, but yeah, I thought this was beautiful. Oh, I also had this fabric that has a very pastel-y, springy, summery, bohemian kind of, oh my gosh, I just fell in love with this, with the little feathers and all the flowers on it. I thought it was so pretty. And last night I made it into pajamas. So now I have PJ pants that I will be happy to wear for the spring and summer. So I love those. And I have two more. They are ugh, here. <laughs> um, my honey very nicely got these clean for me because the place that I got them from, like I said, this, this I got from that hole in the wall on the side of the road type place and everything was kind of really dusty and dirty. So we needed to clean this right away. Um, but this one, I don't know if you can even see how beautiful this is. It's got this geometric, but I thought it looked so vintage and the texture on it is just amazing. Like I love the feeling of it. And I'm thinking that's gonna be a coat. And then the other one, which I think is definitely one of my top favorite fabrics that I've got. Sorry for the bag sound. <laughs> This one, and it is this like kind of pea green, beautifully textured. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And he told me actually that he brought it to the cleaner lady and she said, ooh, nice fabric. <laughs> so that's always nice to hear. And that's it. Um, I appreciate you watching. If anybody watches, if anybody remembers me and my channel, um, I really appreciate it. I'm going to give you kind of a, a little update um, of things and where I'm thinking my channel is going to be going uh, in the next little while because I think I want to change things a little bit, but I'm thinking that they're going to change for the better. So I want to share that with you. And other than that, I hope you have a great day. I am going to go and put all of my fabric away. <laughs> I have to refold it. And I hope you have a wonderful creative day. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye.